What is up everyone? In this video, I'm going to talk about the magic of supersets, specifically antagonistic supersets, which is where you train two opposing muscle groups together with no rest in between. So for example, that could be chest and back, or biceps and triceps, or quads and hamstrings, things like that, you understand what I'm getting at. So the main reason I like to do supersets is simply because of the amount of time you save with your training. You can really slash your workout in half um, if you do the supersets correctly. So if you don't like to spend hours in the gym multiple days a week, then supersets are a very good tool to have in your arsenal. You can also get a ton of extra volume in without increasing the total time of your workout as well. So that is going to increase the intensity of your training, which will lead to better results down the line. Another reason I like supersets is because of the cardiovascular benefits of them. So because you're going to be performing two exercises back to back, usually for the higher reps without a rest in between, you're going to be guessing for air if you're not used to these. They are very hard on your cardio system. So it's going to help improve your cardio and your general level of fitness. Also, the cardio benefits will translate over to your heavy barbell movements. So if you train yourself up and you get used to doing supersets back to back to a point where cardio isn't really an issue anymore, you'll notice when you go back to your heavy squats, heavy deadlifts, heavy overhead press, when you're resting in between those sets, you're going to be less out of breath and you might be able to take less of a break, therefore decreasing your workout time even more. In terms of what exercises you should use supersets on, I have found that isolation movements and calisthenic movements are perfect for this. Because they both place a low stress on your nervous system and a low stress on your body in general, they are very easy to recover from. And also, there's a low risk of injury when you're performing isolation and calisthenic movements. Especially when the fatigue starts kicking in during the supersets, you're out of breath, your form might degrade a bit. Uh, compared to a barbell movement, the risk of injury is very low. So what you don't want to perform supersets on are the heavy compound movements like your squats and deadlifts and your overhead press. Simply because form is extremely crucial on those exercises so you don't blow your back out. And if you're fatigued during them exercises, it's going to be very, very hard to maintain good form. Especially when the weight starts getting heavier. So avoid doing supersets on those types of exercises. In terms of programming supersets into your training, if you're new to them, I would suggest just doing one superset per workout to begin with. Because of the cardio element, um, your performance is going to be decreased by a fair amount until you get used to it over the coming weeks and months. So, Build up slowly to it. For example, start off with, let's say, push-ups and inverted rows. Stick with that for a few weeks until you notice your cardio is improving. You're not out of breath as much. Then you can introduce uh, another superset to your workout if you want to. And then build up from there. So that is everything I have to say about supersets. Give them a go yourself, experiment with them, see if you like them or not. And yeah, that is it. So until next time, peace.